I am not buying his backtrack. And Stephen A., I did watch the video of what he told a small group of reporters so before did he did his national TV interview with Aaron Andrews on Fox. I believe he meant what he said the first time, that, that he did try to groove a pitch to Derek Jeter. I, I believe he, he meant to say it, um, but here, here's my caveat to this. Here's my, my one asterisk to this. Was it possibly wounded pride speaking? Because I remind you, Adam Wainwright walked to that mound with the best ERA in baseball. He's going to do something that, that every pitcher cherishes. He's going to start the All-Star game. And what happened? He had just gotten rocked as the All-Star game starter. Mm -hmm. Three of the four, first four hitters went Derek Jeter double, Trout triple, Cabrera home run. That's three of the first four hitters. And I remind you, Home field advantage in the World Series is still at stake, fortunately or unfortunately, whether you agree or disagree. And I remind you that Adam Wainwright, St. Louis Cardinals, still have a pretty good shot of getting back to another World Series. And I remind you that last year, without home field advantage in the World Series, Adam Wainwright did pitch games one and five and lost both games to the eventual champion, Boston Red Sox. So last night, Adam Wainwright had just contributed heavily to the National League, again losing home field advantage for the World Series. And it's possible that he was trying to make a little small excuse like, well, I, I, I was trying to groove one to, to Derek after we, we applauded him. And I think in his heart of hearts, he did try to groove one. And then he immediately later regretted it because he paid a dear price for what started the onslaught. Skip Bayless, there are moments when I, I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart, I'm embarrassed for our industry because I don't even understand. I don't care if he did groove a pitch to Derek Jeter. We saw the moment. It's an exhibition game. It's all-star. It's Derek Jeter's first at bat. This dude is a 14-time all-star. A career batting average of 481 in the All-Star game. What I'm trying to say to you is that it's, it's like, excuse me, the fact that Adam Wainwright should be put in a position where I don't, I'm not talking about us speculating as to whether it was a groove pitch or not. I'm talking about the fact that Adam Wainwright was in a position at the Major League Baseball All-Star game to have to explain himself, to apologize, to be in danger of becoming a distraction or whatever the case may be. If you want to sit there and say he grooved a pitch to Derek Jeter, fine. If you want to say that he did it, he did it. So what? I don't care which way, whatever way it is. It was a celebration of one of the great players and arguably the greatest ambassador for the sport we have ever seen. Derek Jeter, and by the way, my boy MJ with Jordan, the Jordan brand, that, that commercial for Derek Jeter, respect off the charts. It's a beautiful commercial. Let me give my man MJ props on that. But I say that in all sincerity because I'm like, wait a minute. If you want to look at Derek Jeter, I mean, what are you going to say? Derek Jeter has made those hits time and time again. But could he have grooved the pitch? Could Adam Wainwright have grooved the pitch to him? Sure, he could have. So what? So why what? Should, why should he? Why, uh, well, listen, why don't you ask Cardinals Nation? Time out, so time what? Out, today? So, uh, please, the Cardinal Nation doesn't care that he gave up a hit to Derek Jeter uh, in the All-Star game. I would game. beg to they, differ. They, they don't care about that. That's oh, nonsense. Tr trust me, you're please, wrong about that. I, one. You're wrong about that. The point is, is that it's an exhibition game. It's all starts the Midsummer Classic. Derek Jeter is being celebrated with standing ovations that's lasted 63 seconds, mm -hmm. two times over. You know it was one of the most moving moments. Even you opened up by saying how moving it was and I'm not again the debate to me is not about whether the pitch was grooved or not to me why does Adam Wainwright have to sit there and literally explain himself as if he's committed a crime right, but is wait that, a second I mean what is, is home field advantage involved or not here yes it is is it on the table so yeah so uh, so, so so the first pitch of the all-star game is going to determine it right well it didn't help Jeter. and let me tell you something and I now, think they now, lost now, the game now, in the well, first well, inning well maybe if you didn't give it up to Trout maybe that's a problem uh -oh. but in the end the point is look so what it's Derek Jeter. It's the Midsummer Classic. And, oh, by the way, it ain't like he threw the damn ball underhanded like it was softball. He I threw, agree he, he had to he, hit he, it. I mean, excuse me. He threw a pitch. Derek Jeter said it best. Still got to hit it. Right. You still got to hit it. 
You got you, you got eight fielders out there for crying out loud. Okay, I mean, come but if, on. if you want to be coldly objective, Derek Jeter didn't even belong in the All Star game. I'm happy he's there. It's fine me. with me. If he didn't but belong in there, productivity this year. If he didn't belong okay. up in there, then we can go back to several Midsummer Classics where people didn't belong in there, but they were there because they were being celebrated for who they were and what they were and what they have done over the course of their career. We understand you're batting 272. It ain't knocking your socks off numbers or anything like that, but there comes a point in time where longevity should stand for something. There's a whole bunch of people that do debate shows, Skips. There's a whole bunch of people that want to do debate shows. Have they held it down for 10 years like you? There's something to be said for it. Longevity, consistency, day in, day out, bringing the rain. That's a good point That's about that. Some, there's something to be said for that. And we can't live in a society where we're dismissing how somebody and their body of work right. get shoved to the okay, wayside. But, but I'd like to think I'm not hitting 272 no, right now. Yeah, I'd but, like to no, think that. Yeah, but I'd like Forgive to, but, me for no, saying that's that. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying to you is this. I'd like to believe that when the day comes, if the day were to come, that you were hitting 272, yeah. that a nation of people who aspire to do what you do could appreciate what you held down for years. But I would not want you to toss me any softballs you know if what? I was hitting 272. You know, you never, hey, listen. We've had on this show where softballs was tossed to us from time to time because it was an off day. It was a lighthearted day, et cetera, yeah, et cetera. Why that's not? what I'm to miss. Summer class is problem. Being. Is this game but, ceremonial or does it count? See, that's your problem. It, if was, it counts, it's both. then, then it's I'm, I'm going to hold him it's, accountable. It's both. It counts. But for Jeter, it was ceremonial. That's yeah, why he, he was pulled it. out in, in, in the fourth okay, inning. Okay, to me, it counts. It was, so I'm going to hold Adam Wainwright accountable. Oh, it was ceremonial for Jeter. Yeah.